now at 11. Thanks for joining us. High-tech crooks are finding tricky new ways to con anyone who connects to an internet with, the la with a laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Criminals are setting up wireless or Wi-Fi connections that look real, but they're not. In just seconds, hackers can steal your identity without you even knowing. Aaron Dahlhorn saw firsthand how anyone, just about anywhere, can be fooled. Aaron. Dave, if I wanted to go online right now, these are just a few Wi-Fi options here in our building at Channel 8. They all looked, look pretty legitimate, and we found out today it's quite easy to fall for a fake and be duped. Chris Jardin uses a wireless connection, or Wi-Fi, at UNLV's Student Union. Video games and uh, message boards, email, and going to websites. The history student is connected and can surf on his computer as much as he wants, but he knows you can't be too trusting on public Wi-Fi. But I wouldn't go on my bank account like on public ones. So the first thing an attacker is going to do is, is, is um, what's called sniffing. Just see what's in the air. A few feet away, Jenner Holden with the identity theft protection company LifeLock found this Wi-Fi hotspot was on fire with activity. 80 different devices, computers, laptops, iPads, phones, those kinds of things, looking for almost 900 wireless networks. Holden conducted a special experiment for us. He demonstrated how easy it is to con computer users by digitally deceiving them into hooking up to his laptop. They click on a Wi-Fi network that looks real, but it's a fraud Holden had just set up. It's an evil twin. It's, it's pretending to be something that it's not. And you connect to them instead of the legitimate access point and they pass your traffic through. Holden showed us how a crook can grab data right off your computer. Passwords, sensitive information like social security numbers, birth dates if you're doing banking or taxes or anything like that. The scary thing is most public Wi-Fi networks are at risk. A university, a library, an airport, coffee shop. I could see a lot of people falling for it. Chris Jardin agreed to take part in our demonstration. He signed on and the private information he typed appeared on Holden's screen. It accurately recorded it and uh, they definitely would have your information after that. And it's a bit shocking. Just realize the next time you pull out your laptop, iPhone or iPad for Wi-Fi, it can be risky. Am I just reading the news? Maybe I'm okay with that. Am I going to do my banking? Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I wait till I get home to do that. Now, we did not gain any passwords or private information in our experiment there because we were dealing with some honest professionals. But truth be told, the crooks are using the same technology, the same tricked out computers. They will park outside businesses, restaurants, schools, and sit there and get your personal information in real time as you type it in. Reporting live tonight, Aaron Drawhorn, 8 News Now. Thanks, Aaron. North Las Vegas police are looking...